Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So right now I'm supposed to be in Las Vegas speaking to a group of people on my most successful action as an artist or the one point that was like the turning point for me making a career out of my art. So obviously I'm not in Las Vegas. Nobody is except for the people that live there. So Mike from Stone Coat Countertops, who that's, they put on Artists in Summit every year, asked all of the speakers to speak from their homes on their successful actions and share it with everybody for free and basically just give that information out as they would if they were at Artists in Summit. And that's what I'm going to do here. This isn't something I would normally put on the Mixed Media Girl channel. A lot of you may not know, but I actually have two channels. One that's the business of art and then Mixed Media Girl. So I generally reserve the business videos for the business of art channel and then the art videos for Mixed Media Girl. But in this case, I'm going to put it on both channels. And if you are interested in making a business out of your art, definitely check that other channel out. The link will be down in the description. And if you have zero interest in making a business out of your art, but you just want to see what I have to say anyways, then stick around and that's okay. Or you can just tune out now because it's not a painting video. So first of all, I want to start by thanking the entire crew at Stonecoat. For those of you who don't know, Stonecoat Countertops is an epoxy company. It's the epoxy that I use and they are amazing. Not only are their products amazing, but I work with them because their company is amazing. I'm, it's a family owned company. The owners, Mike, Catherine, and their Mike's brother, Mitch, and then the parents, everybody works there together. Just such a great team. And they're like family to me. So first of all, I just want to thank them and their team for all the hard work they put into putting together Artists in Summit, even though we weren't able to actually hold it in Vegas this year. It would have been amazing, I know. And the next one, whenever it is, will be super, super amazing. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. I love you guys. All right. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit just about me to give you the background. I know a lot of you know me as a, a, a painter, but that may be all you know. I have newer subscribers. I've done a few videos about myself, but um, first of all, I'm not a public speaker. So <laughs> I may see, seem comfortable, but I'm actually super nervous. My throat's really dry. I did my hair and my makeup for the occasion as if I was in Las Vegas on a stage talking to you guys, but um, yeah, I'm not a public speaker and it has taken me years to get up the courage to speak in front of the camera like this even. So forgive me for any ums and whatever, you know, being just, I'm going to be myself and that's as good as it gets. <laughs> Always working on improving. There's not going to be a lot of editing on this video because I'm going to basically pretend I was on the stage giving this talk. I have known my entire life that I wanted to be an artist. It's something I've been working on, yeah, pretty much since I was born. But about, it was about 2006, 2007 that I actually started working to make it into a career. So that's been, let's say, 13 years now or so actively working on making it into a career. And I've tried many different angles, including getting into art galleries and and doing some art shows and just all this different stuff and selling art online. And um, I mean, I'm, I still change all the time. I'm, it's, I don't think I'll ever kind of settle on one method, one way. I like to have many streams of income, many, I like to have a lot going on. <laughs> it's definitely motivated. I love coffee and I love karaoke. I love to sing. I don't know that I'm very good at it, but I do love it anyways. And so there we go. That's just a little bit of a background about me. I have no formal training in art. I did take some art classes in school. I always laugh because I actually failed in my art classes in school because I had an attitude problem. 
and I didn't want to follow any instructions. I just wanted to do my own thing. So even there, I didn't do that great. But for me, it's just always been my very clear passion. And I don't just mean painting. I also love dancing, writing, singing, sculpture, anything art related is very interesting to me. Photography. And so I've just worked so over the years on cultivating many different art skills. And I think a lot of them go together as well. Learning photography has really helped me as a painter because I can take good pictures of my artwork and put them up for sale. And that's better than taking a bad picture. So they all go together. That's just a little bit about me. Now to get to the actual point of the video of let's say the one thing that was kind of a turning point for me or the, the most successful thing for me as an artist. And this is, it's not like it occurred one time, which was why this was a little difficult for me to kind of, I think, pinpoint it. But if I were to name one thing, I would say it was the decision to not wait. To simply not wait. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I know when you're a kid, you go, when I grow up, I want to be blah. Now, I know a lot of 60 and 70 year olds that are still saying that. When I grow up, I want to be blah. <laughs> it happens. We do this where we put what we want in the future. Eventually, I'll have this. If at some point, but we don't actually put together a plan and and start actively working towards that. So even when I had a nine to five job, which I had most of my life, I was always, always in any additional time that I had working towards putting my art career there. I wasn't waiting until I had saved up a million dollars from my nine to five job and then I could just do art at my leisure. That is a valid method of doing it, by the way. If anybody has done that, that's totally valid. But a lot of people, they don't do that. They just wait and they put it off and they don't ever save up that million dollars. And then you never have your art career. So to me, that's not the most viable option for actually making a career out of your art. You need to actively really, really work on it. And that can be doing art shows. That can be making a YouTube channel. That can be just selling art any of the methods, there's no wrong way, but the point is you have to actively work on it in the time that you have. You can't wait until you have time. There's never a right time to do something. And let's say you're talking about starting a YouTube channel. You can't wait until you have the best camera and the best lighting and the best setup. Or if you're being a painter, you can't wait until you have the best art supplies and the best studio and you've done all this training on art and you, you can't wait for that or you will be waiting until you're dead and then you just got to start all over you know so it's don't you don't wait you need to just get started today with what you have even if it's total crap your first few youtube videos total crap it's gonna happen your first art show may totally bomb your first paintings will be not that great if I look back to my first art show and the paintings that I sold there versus today, oh my gosh, it's night and day difference. I'm like a bazillion times better as a painter. But did I wait until I felt like I was the best painter in the world to start selling art? No, I started selling it right away. As soon as, well, as soon as other people indicated at all that they were interested in buying my art, I was like, okay, give me the money. Let's do this. Okay? I did not wait. And to start my YouTube channel, I didn't wait. I had no lighting. I was in my garage. I didn't even have a tripod. Definitely not a camera. Just using my phone and I rigged up some wires from the ceiling to hold my phone. And that was it. My YouTube channel was born. You can improve as you go. You will improve as you go. But you cannot wait until you are the best or perfect or anywhere near there to actually get started. Um, another example, I'm going to give just a few 
examples that were like kind of profound points in my life, even if they are kind of dumb, it's not always like you don't need a, a total life changing emergency. Like someone doesn't have to die for you to realize that, that you need to change something. So it doesn't have to always be that dire or urgent or whatever, but it can be still profound to you. Um, so one instance was actually a couple years ago. Uh, I was, my YouTube channel was going well, my art was going okay. But I felt like I was in this huge rut. Like I felt like I was still waiting and I've always wanted to travel, but it had to be when I had the money to travel, when I was making so much money from my art that I had plenty of money and I could just take time off and go and travel. That was at that time my thought. But I woke up one morning and I realized I don't have to wait. I can literally, I have a car. I wanted to go to the Grand Canyon. I'd never been there. My daughter had never been there. I, I was like, I have a car let's go. <laughs> so I packed up my car that day and I drove to the Grand Canyon with my daughter. And then I was, while I was there, I was like, Hey, I'm sort of close to Texas and I wanted to go to Texas and I want to go meet artists till death. So I called up Erica from artists till death. And I was like, Hey, you want to hang out? And we got together. And that's how my first ever live YouTube video happened. Imagine if I had waited and hadn't done any of that, I probably wouldn't be doing any live videos. Uh, I wouldn't have seen the Grand Canyon. I wouldn't have met Erica for another year or so. And um, she definitely gave me tips on using resin. So I wouldn't have had that information and be where I am with resin now. So there's a lot of things that would have been different had I not gone and taken that trip. And also, I have since then traveled all over the place because I realized I didn't need to wait to travel. Why would you travel when you're, you know, 80 years old? That's not nearly as fun as traveling earlier in your life. And there's no reason to wait. It You can do things in a way that's not super expensive. Yes, if I want to try planning a month long trip to Europe, that's going to be a little expensive. But even that, even if you just change your mind on it, I could go, okay, I have people that follow me on my channel in every country that I could probably stay with. I have, you know, you can kind of think things through of how to make it work if you decide that that's what you want to do instead of just waiting. Um, I'm going to give another example that's actually even stupider, but and really, really personal, but also kind of was just a profound moment. And it was a more recent one. I was at the store and I, I decided to do this detox diet. Okay. And I needed some organic chicken. So I looked at the organic chicken and it was like $18. And I was like, what? That's insane. And I put it back. But then I was thinking people have no hesitancy on spending $18 on a case of beer, myself included, okay? You want beer, you go get it. $18, okay, no real hesitancy, but spending that $18 on organic chicken that would be healthy for my body, couldn't do that. So it's also a difference. A lot of times people will say, I don't have the time or I don't have the money. So I have to wait until I have the time or the money. But I think if you're really, really honest with yourself, and this is very hard to do, and I'm not always honest with myself. How much time are you spending watching Netflix or watching TV that you could be working on your art business? How much money are you spending on things like beer? <laughs> or other things that maybe aren't the best for ourselves that should be invested in your art business. So it's just a little bit of a, a, a mind shift. Now I'm not saying to not have anything good in your life. I like to, to go I like to go to Disneyland and other things that aren't necessarily necessary. But for me it's why am I living? I'm living to do the things that I want to do. I'm not living to work. So even though maybe that money would be better invested in something else, it, it can sometimes also be the right answer.
to go reward yourself or to take a little trip or something like that. So it's a, you're going to, you're going to have to think with what works best for you and be honest with yourself. Do you really not have the time and money to, to start your art business or to maybe go take a business class or learn a new skill in art? Or are you actually spending that time and money on other things? So that was another point in my life that was stupid yet profound on, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's like I need to stop making as many excuses in my art career and really just go for it, okay? And I'm not rich by any means, any dollar that I get. In fact, I'm often broke because any dollar that I get, I invest immediately back into my art business. I've spent thousands and thousands of dollars the last few years on business training, including marketing, public relations, um, statistical analysis, like finance, all kinds of things that would help improve my art business. I've spent thousands of dollars. I could have taken that money and gone on some killer vacation, okay, but it was worth it for me because I've made that money back tenfold and I will continue to for the rest of my life. So it's, it's like, okay, what if you, should you give someone a million dollars or give them an education? If they don't have an education, they're going to just go spend the million dollars and it's going to be worthless. But if they get the education, then they can see how to make that million dollars 10 times over and they will be set for life. So I hope this was pretty clear on what the one thing was, which is literally just not waiting. There's not going to be a better time. You're not going to have a time where you have tons of money and tons of time to work on your business. The time is now and you, you need to get started now because <laughs> you'll be so much further in 10 years than if you wait another nine years. And at some point you will run out of that time. At some point you will not any longer have the time to get started. So get started now and continue, just continue improving and continue learning as you go, but start now. Let me know if you guys have any questions down in the comments. Please, if you're interested, go check out my channel, The Business of Art, where I go over all kinds of things on this subject. And then also, um, just wanted to remind you, I have the book, The uh, Paint Pouring Workshop on Acrylic Pouring. And also, I have an ebook on building a YouTube channel. I think a lot of you probably don't know that either. It's not... A long ebook it's very straight to the point it's not expensive so link for those will all be down in the description and I also want to mention I have an entire clothing company that you guys may not be aware of that is grunge artist apparel and I'm wearing one of my hoodies you'll often see me wearing these different shirts and hoodies we have uh, t-shirts v-necks tank tops hoodies and other things and actually, I had come up with two new designs just for Artists and Summit. So that's why I'm telling you about this now because I don't have them in person to release. But I'll put the link for that store down in the description. And lastly, I have a big sale on my art going right now. So if you're watching this video in the future, this may not apply. But right now, I do have a big sale going on on my art on my Etsy store. And we've got some pretty epic pieces that I've put up. So I'll put the link for that in the description as well. Description will have everything. Let me know if you need any help getting started in your art career. My time is very, very limited. But I go out of my way to help you guys as much as possible. And I spend sometimes hours answering emails and messages and comments and I will continue to do that for the rest of my life <laughs> so let me know if there's any way that you feel like I can help you guys and I will see you all next time